Welcome back to my channel today. If you're new, welcome to my channel. My name is Jordan and this is JE Beauty. So today I have a pre-summer Marshalls haul and I have quite a number of things so let's just get on into it. So my grand total for the shopping trip was $91.16. I got a number of items. I've already returned one and I'll just say that one right now. So that was a coffee and vanilla body scrub that smelled so so good. I love the smell of coffee. I just can't drink coffee. But it smelled amazing and I needed a body scrub, but <laughs> I didn't realize that on the packaging it said almond oil and I have an allergy and it's more if it gets into my mouth, but I just like to be careful and just kind of not be around those types of products because I remember there was this one almond spray. It was like a moisturizing spray that I used to have and it always made my legs really itchy and at the time I didn't know that I was fully allergic to almonds. Just because of that I like to stay away from peanuts especially. Walnuts and almonds those are the three nuts that I'm allergic to so any bath and body products that may have like walnuts and almonds it's not really so much peanut butter I just really stay away from. I'll go into what I plan on returning next this is the Form Fit 3 Pack Resistant Band Set and it has three weight levels. I actually have one that I opened. It's supposed to be the medium one, a very pretty color, but I wasn't expecting it to be like sticky on the inside. It didn't feel what would be like a medium weight resistant band because right now I'm currently doing the 80 Day Obsession from Beachbody. That one comes with three different bands. They come with the yellow, green, and the blue small, and then they come with like yellow, green, and blue big, but my small green one snapped in half the first week. Entire phase one I just used yellow and blue which was light and heavy and then I'm now in phase two and I'm still doing that and I tried using this and it just felt like another light band. I have a feeling that even the light version is gonna feel like nothing. So far I'm just using light and heavy really and it's been working fine but sometimes I need that medium weight one. The next gym product that I got, I only brought one up with me but I bought the Flow 360 15 pound set dumbbells. They look like this. They actually look really large but they're only seven and a half pounds. I didn't work out today. It's actually a little bit heavier than I would think. At my house we only have five pound weights so that's what I went through all phase one with because like I'm also like in money saving mode and I was like I'll just see how I can do it with five pounds and it was fine like it works perfectly fine but obviously I can't use five pounds through all three phases. I plan on getting more weights. I usually get my weight stuff at five below because obviously it's really cheap. So far so good. So the next accessory I guess you could say this I was looking at and I was like "Ooh, I really really like this and of course if you know me you know I just love pineapples. So this is the Sunny Life Luxe Light on Pineapple Float. I haven't even opened it yet and also this has a scratch and sniff right here and it actually smells like pineapples. Yep, still does. <laughs> so this was originally $66 and the price I got for was $16.99 which is amazing. So Sunny Life, they do call themselves like Insta Famous Floats. So you might recognize their flamingo, their swan, their unicorn. Basically that is the brand. I don't know if this is like the Insta Famous Float brand or if there's another one. I feel like there's definitely another one. We will try this out. Pretty cool. And also I have a donut ring float from years ago, like literally high school. I got it from the store Zoomies and it was hot pink, but I got so much sun exposure that it's now like a pale donut. I feel like I just need to bring like a new food into my pool float collection and just retire the donut. So hello pineapple, bye bye pale donut. Before I go into all the clothing items, the brand is called My Magic Mud. And I normally use that charcoal whitening toothpaste, which I totally love. I love the peppermint version. I love the winter mint version. And that tastes exactly like a lifesaver. Kind of like crazy how like exact the flavor is. The only thing is that the toothpaste is black, obviously, because it's charcoal. And my mom hates seeing black in my white sink every single day. Even though I did find one, she was like, I think you should try this one that I did find because I was debating between the two. 
she was like, I just really hate seeing the black in your sink because obviously it's not really a good look. Not saying like I like it either, but the My Magic Mud has been whitening my teeth. This one I'm still trying out. This was on clearance for $3 actually, which is pretty cool. This is Schmidt's Wonder Mint Tooth and Mouth Paste. Helps whiten teeth and freshen breath. So far, I really like it. I was not expecting the color to be a light pink. I thought that was different, but this is SLS free, fluoride free, PEG free, dye free, and no artificial flavors. Ingredient list isn't too long. I see like a lot of extracts and oils with vitamins and botanical extracts, 4.7 ounce. Like I said, I'm still trying this one out. I don't know if my teeth look whiter or not. That is important to me because I don't want to pay a ton of money to go whiten my teeth unless I really have to. So I just try to do that through toothpaste. And ones that are natural. All I have left to go through is my clothing. And I don't normally shop for clothing for myself anymore because honestly, <laughs> even though I'm a very small, skinny person, shopping for clothing is such a nightmare because nothing fits me correctly. And you would think because I feel like there's that stereotype maybe, I don't know, I think it was more like a long time ago or I don't know, maybe it still exists if like you're skinnier, you can kind of fit into like pretty much anything, but that's really not the case. I'm five, three and a half, really, really, really small for a person who's five, three and a half shopping. Although I love it, it can be a nightmare, especially when it comes to clothing. Even though I try going clothing shopping, I barely find anything for the most part. But TJ Maxx, even though I used to work there, I could never find clothing that would fit me. Like I would think clothes that we sold were like really, really cute. But once I tried them on, they didn't look good on me. I couldn't pull them off or like they didn't fit right. There was one like, maxi dress that I found there last summer that fit perfectly. But other than that, barely anything. I find that Marshalls, I find clothes that I can actually fit into. Yeah, we're just gonna get on into it. So I got these leggings and here's another thing about me shopping, especially workout leggings from TJ Maxx and Marshalls. I can never find that fits me 100%. It could be an extra small because that's the size that I am, but I have tried extra small workout leggings from both stores, mostly TJ Maxx, and kid you not, they are giant on me. It's really sad because obviously different brands have different like vanity sizing, so it's like really confusing for someone who's an extra small and all the extra smalls are different sizes, I guess. This one is by the brand Yogalicious Luxe. This is in an extra small. Okay, I'll show you these first. This really nice, mauve color and then they have like little slits on the side and that's what the bottom looks like with the little mesh detail same with the other side and they also have a front pocket that i will probably never use <laughs> and i really only have like two pairs of black workout leggings one gray and one dark green and that's about it so I'm trying to get into buying more workout leggings, especially working out like six days a week. Those workout leggings were originally $88 and I'm like, what? <laughs> and I got them for $13 on clearance and I thought that was great. I did notice some like loose strings, but I just cut them off. So it was like no big deal. Other than that, they're really comfortable and they fit me like a glove and that's all I ask for any clothing item that I get. Another thing that I have trouble with when finding workout leggings, or really any pants in general, but especially workout leggings, is that the crotch area is so big on me. So that's another thing, like it could fit me waist-wise, but the crotch area is huge. So that's another problem I run into. But yeah, I really like these. I've already worn them twice. I believe they're really soft too, so hopefully I can find more workout leggings from this brand because now I know that their extra smalls actually fit me. This is from Aerie and it's a bikini bottom. It's just black. I typically go for black bikini bottoms. Obviously, I want to find patterned ones or colored ones, but then again, it has to fit me correctly. So these ones are actually more cheeky. It almost looks like a thong. It's not quite a thong, but it's also past a cheeky bottom. So it's kind of in the middle, but I don't mind. This was shocking to me. I got this for $4.99 I was really shocked. And I was like, this is coming home with me. I need this. Yeah, I'm really happy that I got that. So the next three items are tops. This white off the shoulder top, and it has a little area where you can put arms in. This is by One Clothing. Los Angeles so this is like the knockoff brand for Brandy Melville and it's a little bit more sheer 
so really just wear like a nude a strapless bra and you're good but it is definitely a little bit more sheer in this area next two tops are very bright <laughs> so i have oh wow that's really bright it's like kind of close to my eyeshadow not really because it's more pink and this is more like corally orange this is by japna so it just hangs a little bit lower in the back and it's a little bit scrunched in the front v-neck it's very comfortable it's gonna look amazing when i get a better tan i am slightly tan as you can see that great a tan line right there but yeah slightly tan but still pale and then the last thing i have so i still need to cut off these loose strings yellow is not my favorite color even though it's on my eyelids but honestly yellow has been like kind of rubbing on me lately i don't know why i love pastel yellow but i've come to terms that pastel yellow does not look good against my skin tone unfortunately unless i'm like extremely tan probably won't happen i just have to find the correct yellow tone to go with like my skin tone and my hair color too because i know like that's a huge thing so i got this top right here it has a little like scrunch at the bottom and it actually looks really good on me i was like oh my god i love this it's just like a really cute pattern blouse you know got some flower detail on there that has the keyhole design in the back this was a small actually typically would go for extra small so that is it for today's video i hope you enjoyed if you did give it a big thumbs up comment down below any videos that you would like me to film now that i have a six week break from school i start back up in mid-july so i have a lot of time on my hands besides working I really want to spend that time filming and whatnot also comment down below your favorite things to buy from marshall's and tj maxx subscribe if you want to see more beauty videos and fashion videos here and there hauls of course hit that notification bell if you want to be notified when i upload right then and there and i hope you have a great day and i'll see you later bye